Yeah, I broke my hip in 2011 when I was walking at night. It was after the book club meeting and we were, I was walking through the Arbutus Club parking lot and I looked up, I said, oh, look at the moon. And just as I said that, I tripped on a speed bump. So, down, hard, <laughs> so broke my hip. About 4,000 individuals every year will break uh, their hip, and uh, it's a concern because these are the frailest uh, members of our society. They're, you know, on average 81 years old. Hi, I'm Dr. Gee. Hi there. How are you doing? Fine. Good. Oh, come Be over here. this way. All right. When uh, somebody comes into the emergency room uh, and has a hip fracture, our goal is really to try to get their surgery done within the first 48 hours mm -hmm. of their admission. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's a good idea? Of course, yes, <laughs> yes definitely. <laughs> Because to get on with the life. We are the frail elderly and that is the, the difficulty going forward. So they're at greater risk for complications after surgery. So we know that if they can be dealt with more quickly, they have less complications, they have shorter length of stays, and overall you improve the care that they have, it decreases the overall cost per patient. We uh, have just over 2,000 uh, people who've gone through the project at our various uh, eight sites. Uh, at this point, the target uh, is uh, for 90% of patients to undergo surgery within 48 hours of their admission. Our goal is really to now expand to uh, the next 20 sites in uh, British Columbia. The important statistic though is with the baby boomer population moving into it, we're going to expect to see a very significant increase in the total number of uh, fractured hips over the course of the next 15 to 20 years. Well, I think I'm pretty normal. I'm bicycling and uh, walking, pretty much the same amount. Well, I think when you break your hip, yes, it's important to get it done quickly. 